You can call it the new norm for many musicians and bands like Big Sam's Funky Nation. <laughs> Virtual concerts right from the driveway as a way to still perform and bring in a little money. Going from performing for hundreds and thousands of people to just looking at a camera <laughs> it's like it's night and day and i'm just like man like this is so weird with music venues closed and COVID 19 restrictions in place musicians have been out of work for months so they rely on donations from people whenever they perform but big sam says that money is still nowhere close to what they're used to making this time of year when you want to play a festival or 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 a venue you have to you at least have like some type of idea of like the income that you're about to have coming in. And right now it's like, we don't know what's gonna happen. One week we have a hundred thousand views, next the following week we have ten thousand views. And it just goes back and forth, you know, it depends on who's on and what people are doing these days. And it's not just musicians struggling. The beloved venues, places like Tipitina's, they've been closed for months and some don't know if they'll bounce back from the pandemic. What's still a struggle is how do we recreate an economic opportunity for musicians who really rely on an audience for their livelihood. But a bipartisan bill dubbed the Save Our Stages Act could help by providing billions of dollars to music and entertainment venues across the country. But that's if it passes. Without it, up to 90% of music venues could be at risk within the next few months. So it's a crucial piece of making sure the culture of New Orleans is sustainable. All y'all stay safe, stay healthy out there, baby. So musicians and several organizations encourage you to contact legislatures to save independent music venues. Just head to saveourstages.com to read more.